Okay, just revisiting Z2's little setup, and I thought I'd make this video for for the guys at a IAEC because they're such 2N3055 fans. I wasn't gonna make a video, but I thought, you know what? Maybe I will just because I use that particular transistor. So this is a this is a pretty damn good little light. You know, like I, as far as, you wouldn't want to sleep beside it. Like this is, this is lighting up the room pretty damn good. You know, I could find a, well, there wouldn't be a penny hidden on the ground anywhere. Let's just put it that way. You know, it's pretty damn good. And what it is, is it's a Z2 circuit, basically. And uh, what I've done is I've taken that transformer and I reround just the primary. And she's pretty fat. Now that was a 10 volt transformer capable of putting out quite a few watts. So I rewound the primary just to make her uh, center tap. Right? And it's, it's still basically a 10 to 1 and I'm running it on one on uh, a single 3.7 lithium ion I'll turn this other light on just so you can see a little better the, though you can see I don't really need it but as far as the meters go and stuff um, you'll see them better so I'm running at 3.68 volts and she's taking in 400 milliamps. Now this is pretty much pinned. But the neat thing is is you can you can dial it back to to whatever you want basically. Yeah, I can I got a 10k pot on here. She is a bit noisy though this one that I around. But you can wind it right back down to whatever you want. And on my particular circuit, 500 milliamps is about about max. She gets kind of funky after that. And you can see when you look on your scope too, you can see some pretty bizarre stuff starting to happen. Is it? It's a really quite a strange wave. And you know, I I when I put my Oh, here, I put my ground plane there, right? It's at zero. I go to AC, and this is on taking off the secondary side, okay? If you look at that wave, she's a way into the negatives. Quite a bit. And, well, I mean, it would appear so to me anyways. Which I thought was really interesting. Um, you know, when I change the time division here, you get a better idea of... Of, uh... Oops. Let's see here. Can I trigger this? Uh, there we go. Now, when she has a certain tuning, you can see there's, like right, right above my finger, she has little points of distortion where you get dropouts in your voltage. And they will go away at other tunings. So now I'm like, or I thought they would. Maybe I'm mistaken. It's a very strange wave though that I'm getting off of this particular setup. It's almost like a like a square wave, but not. And uh, let's see if I can get that better. Now I'll tune it a little bit with this pot here. Okay, so that's just about as max. The one thing I do like about this setup is is as I approach see that dropout right there 
See how it's reducing? See how that? It's gone away. That's what I wanted to show you. Well, I was pointing to the wrong one. See how I get a voltage dropout at some points? That second little dip, now it's going away. I thought that was kind of interesting. Anyway, at the 300 milliamp level, which is pretty nice, and at the, uh, I'll pin it right out to, uh, you know, just under, just under 500 milliamps at that voltage. You can see she's pretty, she's pretty damn bright. Like it's a, it's only a two watt light, and it's almost, it's almost as good as it would be on AC. Not quite. I mean, like maybe seventy five percent or something. But the room is quite lit up. It's not bad, and it's a two N thirty oh fifty. 3055, no heat. So there, yeah, something to do with your, your extra little transistors. You can get uh, some of those if you find a 10, 10, 0, 10, then you don't have to rewind it. But it's a neat little inverter. And it will send the send the juice down the line. I mean, it's uh, today I wanted to have a look at the wave to see its suitability for for operating it as it's got you know quite a linear bench. It seems like you can see it's it's very interesting how you get those little dropouts and then they disappear at certain tuning points. That's it. That's the way. And that's at 200 milliamps. Which isn't bad. You have to hang the transformer in, in a box of foam or something. On my mind. The last one I made was totally silent though. So it depends all depends on what you got. Try different configurations. So that's kind of a, a Z2 revisited. I'll put that there. Alright, thanks for watching.